let's go beat the chasers this is itv stripping their daytime quiz show tarting up the format and putting it on prime time at 9 p.m if you are familiar with the chat i'm going to assume people are familiar with the chase so i don't have to set up the whole chase thing go on i want to <laughs> no i don't want to do it I've it's got the well time. it's basically big quiz brains members of the public taking them on to win some money and then yeah. Trying to stop them winning that money. That's basically the chase. So how it? does this differ from the original? Well, in the 9pm Beat the Chasers show, all four of the five. chasers... Five. five. I knew I was wrong. <laughs> all five of the chasers uh, come together as a team in what looks like the set of celebrity squares. The contestants are picked randomly, in quotes, by Bradley Walsh. It's a live studio audience. It's very rowdy. They're asked a set of questions to, to see how much money they would win. It's the then, initial thing is multiple choice questions. questions. Each is worth a thousand pounds, but if you get the first question wrong, you're out. You don't get yeah, to proceed any further. Yeah. The the minimum amount of chases you can take on is two, and that would be for your money that you won in that first round. You get a minute on your clock. They start with forty seconds on their clock. Then for each additional chaser you get more money, but they will also ask for more time on their clock to answer mm -hmm. the questions. Yeah. To sh so it's a shorter gap, more brains, but less, but more money for you. And it's that's similar to the, ch it's basically like a reverse version of yeah. the 5 p.m. show, isn't it? It's difficult to review this really, because it's a game show and it's about answering questions okay, correctly. And it's about how good the chasers are and against I, the clock. I think did, we can be critical of the format yeah. itself. Did it draw you in is my first question. <laughs> I think it did because I like the chase. Yeah. It lost a lot of what I like about the chase. It, somehow it didn't have the tension even though mm. they were against the yeah, clock. Yeah, no, I get no... that. It takes the sort of the personality the element. The intimacy away from it Yeah, the, well. Bradley Walsh gets a lot more to do, you know, in terms of his comedy interactions with I the know. contestants. Do they had, that. like, a, mo a priest who was dressed as a monk in the first episode, uh, and he got a lot of jokes out of that. The, the one thing that got me was that the chasers all saying if you've never watched the chase they've all got their own identity so you've got like the beast the governess and on the 5 p.m show they all dress us in a certain way in this show they were all color coordinated to have the mm. red and black motif of the sh of the show i think it made them look like they were all servers at like a uh, tgi TV fridays yeah. restaurant yeah. especially uh, uh, they Hegarty have... with a little cravat thing that she wears they should have told people it was their birthday and see whether they clapped or not yeah. and i think the the way that they're framed it almost makes it feel gladiatorial doesn't it i mm. think that's why they're sort of raised up in this big stage the lines that they get seem very scripted like yeah. paul sinner at one point said something about a member of jls and where they were from and their their interplay felt very forced. I think it works when it's one of them because they have... I, I think maybe that's what you mean. It loses the intimacy because it's the banter between the one chaser and the contestant, mm. whereas here, they're almost trying to outdo each other and they all feel a little bit lost. Yeah. It's and better would, when it's one-on-one. -on -one. And I would say the other problem with the format is the same problem that Who Wants to Be a Millionaire suffers from is that if you do get on board with a contestant and really root for them, that when it's over and you have to start again with somebody else, the momentum is lost mm. and you're like, oh, we're at the beginning again. It doesn't I don't, flow very uh, well. I, I didn't find that because I don't think you're there ever, whereas Millionaire, you're there with them for a long time. Mm. It's very short, you know, you've got the initial up to five questions round. So essentially without all the banter, it's two minutes more or less yeah. that they've got the qu questions wise. It's filled up with the Bradley Walsh bits, with the chasers all giving their offers. And I think they're at a slight disadvantage because they have to wait for their name to be called after they buzz. That's your you, quiz brain thinking. You know also that the uh, that this is a primetime show because it, the first episode leaves you on a cliffhanger. To be honest though, I would have liked to have seen where that went because mm. 
Well, that, um, you'll have to watch Tuesday's show then, won't I you? Won't. I'm over it now. But at the, t- <laughs> at the time... At the time. I, yeah. I mean, it did hold my attention because I do like quiz shows, as we both do. So I, I thought I will put this on in the background while I do other things. And then I ended up into it, certainly when they were answering questions. Because that's the thing about quiz show at the end of the day is you want to play along. And I found myself doing that. But it almost moves at too quick of a pace. For you to really, it's well, almost... at some point, during the quiz elements it does, and then you feel like it's very slow when Bradley's with the contestants. I, I knew it would be, and it wasn't a surprise, but just for me, I didn't like the fact that it was a big event and that it was this big the thing. The like, down element yeah, of it. Who's going to be coming down to face the chasers, and just the massive arena and all that. Because what I like about the chase is the fact that it's menacing, it's tiny, and it's edge of your seat when it's really good. Although putting all four, five chasers together is a, a fun idea. The execution wasn't quite the show I was hoping it would be. It worked better when they were all together when they did the Let's Sing and Dance for Comic Relief and they were the Wizard of Oz characters. <sighs> You're not wasting your isolation time. <laughs> so well, that, they did, is... that was several years ago, wasn't it? I don't, I don't know. When did this year start? January? <laughs> I don't know. March. Um... <laughs> much yeah oh god okay beat the chasers is on all week long uh next week on itv if you turn on itv between nine and ten you will find it